Yes, the fans didn't know uh, what was happening here. Of course, we'll continue to keep an eye on the situation out here. Uh, for now, we're live with Davis. Jeff Mark is again. Allowed to play around with our democracy. Boom, boom, boom. They lobby our Congress to deregulate. Homeowners didn't find out until too late. Monsanto ain't a person, so why should it be? Allowed to play around with our air boots. Monsanto ain't a person, so why should it be? Allowed to play around with our air boots. Oh, hey, hey. oh, oh. We don't want your GMOs, hey, hey, oh, ho. We don't want your GMOs, hey, hey, ho, oh, ho. We don't want your GMOs, hey, hey, ho, oh, ho. We don't want your GMOs, hey, hey, ho, oh, ho. We don't want your GMOs, hey, hey, ho, oh, ho. We don't want your GMOs. Uh, we're here on behalf of uh, um, the anti-Monsanto campaign and also the Occupy movement. So, everybody here that's live, um, Ustream, YouTube, all the live streams, um, cast the word on to everybody that a victory was won today here at um, Davis, California, the Northern California action to shut down Monsanto. Um, worldwide, last year there was 84 protest sites worldwide in the name of uh, millions against Monsanto to shut down Monsanto. And today, um, the campaign lives on, so I'm going to cut it short, definitely, because everyone, everyone who is over there right now should definitely come over here and celebrate, pass the word on that people, consciousness is arising in, arising in the community, because this is really a battle of consciousness. If you don't eat it, they don't sell it. So don't buy GMOs, make sure that stuff's labeled so our future generations could not have cancer and diabetes and all this other stuff that's plaguing our generation today because of unlabeled foods and unconsciousness of what we're eating. So thank you to Occupy Sacramento for doing the live stream today. Santa, we already won today. We won today, but the message is for the worldwide to shut down. So for all you at home live streaming, the action for today is to bring consciousness of what can we do as a state to shut down Monsanto. And when can we have a worldwide resolution passed in the United Nations to ban GMOs, to ha hold Monsanto accountable for their actions. So today's a day of organizing now that Monsanto was closed down. Hey, 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 ho, ho, we don't want your GMOs. Hey, hey, ho, ho, we don't want your GMOs. We are here to say Monsanto out the FDK. We are here to save Monsanto out the FDA. From Agent Orange to GMO, Monsanto has got to go. From Agent Orange to GMO, Monsanto has got to go. My name is Cheyenne from Thunder. I'm the host of Small World Radio. Although I don't admit this much, technically I'm a child. On January 21st, 2010, the Supreme Court declared that Monsanto, along with all other corporations, were technically, were technically people, me meaning that Monsanto, too, was once a child. His parents had high hopes, as his name implies, my holy. Monsanto was born in 1901 with a, dis with a disorder revealing abnormal and violent social behavior. As a child, boy Santo began to make creations that copied the natural world. The baby Monsanto first created saccharin by combining acids, sulfur dioxide, chlorine, and ammonia. Monsanto's parents, Mr. and Mrs. Stockholder, immediately sold his creations to the American Republic and made millions while laboratory animals were at the same time dying of the tumors from the saccharin, which didn't bother the boy in the least. A child like this would be a major problem in my school. As a teenager, Monsanto was given a license to kill over 200,000 men, women, and children by the U.S. military when he helped create the atomic bomb. The young Holy really enjoyed this kind of work and refined the radioactive war machine until just a few years ago. He helped spread nuclear weapons and radioactive contamination all over the world. After World War II, Monsanto turned his twisted mind to making chemicals especially chemicals to both grow and destroy vegetation. 
Monsanto's own diary admits he knew that his chemicals could deform or even kill humans. But that didn't stop him or the United States from using it on millions of Vietnamese men, women, and kids in the U.S. Army. Over one half million Vietnamese children have been born deformed by Monsanto's product, Agent Orange. Some of the other horrible creations created by this person known as Monsanto are still used today in much of our food supply, while Monsanto's parents and close relatives continue to bury the evidence, falsify test results, pay off politicians, and control courts like the one that breathed life into it. As both boy and man Santo, he was a sneak. He perfected sneaking his demented products into even our baby food. By now, everyone knows his sick mind is in, inside most every bag and box in our grocery stores. I never really had dissected a frog in school before, but Monsanto not only did that, but also figured out how to change male frogs into female frogs with one of his chemicals creations and somehow convinced Americans that it was okay and to put the chemical in water all over this country. In case you didn't know, the chemical is atrazine and the product is Roundup. Monsanto amazingly peed and pooed over 37 million toxic pounds of his self into land, air, and water, leading to some gigantic lawsuits and countless sick humans and animals. But since he was 28 years old and still today, the law escaping genius Monsanto has toxified our world with his creation, one of the deadliest threats known, PCBs. And this, and this criminal mind criminal line knew that 50% of animals tested with PCBs has died in his laboratories. Think about it. If you were an animal, wouldn't you claw and tear through every corporate citizen just to get this, to this guy, Monsanto? In 1997, far, uh, India, far, farmers in India began to commit suicide because of the way Monsanto treated them. Let me explain. Monsanto would get farmers who mostly couldn't read or write to sign a contract that said they had to use only their seed for years. And and not replant the seed that the farmer grew. They had to go back and buy new seed each year. The contract also forced them to poison their ancestral lands with pesticides they had to buy from Monsanto. They fell deeper and deeper into debt to Monsanto. Then to make sure they didn't plant the seed on their own, Monsanto created the suicide seed that not only killed itself after one generation, it began to spread to the farmer. Because of the despair Monsanto put, put them in, Nearly 300,000 fathers and farmers committed suicide. Suicide over a suicide seed. Today, Monsanto continues to escape true law enforcement. If, he, if we were to compare, Mon, compare Monsanto to other men, they would be Adolf Hitler, Napoleon, Dick Cheney, Darth Vader, Sauron, and let's face it.